So I'm sitting in my uh, apartment and Annie has decided to join the trip once again. Say hi, Annie. Hey. Hi. <laughs> and uh, the reason that she's here, one of the reasons, is that tomorrow is the first phase of the Canton Fair in Guangzhou. If you haven't heard of the Canton Fair, then you're probably like most people. <laughs> but there's a lot of people that know what the Canton Fair is. It's a place where companies all over China sell their products. So if you manufacture shoes or TVs or this table or whatever, you can go to the Canton Fair and find people from all over the world to come and buy it. Companies big like Walmart and companies that are really small like even like little shops or inventors. Everybody goes to the Canton Fair to find products in China. There are three phases to the Canton Fair. The first one is kind of industrial equipment and vehicles and things like this. And that includes bicycles. I decided to visit phase one and take the trike with me on the way. Living in China for so long, I have the ability to make things and, and I hope that uh, I can find some manufacturers here that can custom make some products to fit my trike. One of them is a bag, a few different bags that can connect to the trike in a special way so I can access, say, my camera and some quick items, batteries and things here at my leg area. Ideally, it would be really nice to find a trailer manufacturer, somebody that might be able to help me with my trailer problems. And then just walk around and see what kind of new products there are in the bicycle industry and see if we can find some gems. Tomorrow we're going to leave Shenzhen to go to the train station. It's going to be the first time trying to get the trike on a train. When we get there, uh, we'll have, probably have to take the subway, which will be another thing to try and get the trike on the subway. So I think, we'll, I, I think we won't have that much of a problem. So in the morning, I, I ride 13 kilometers to the train station. We take the train to Guangzhou, it's 30 minutes. Take the subway 20 kilometers to the fair, and then uh, that'll be another mission to try and get the trike into the fair, which I think won't be a big deal because I'm foreign, and I can say it's like my sample product. Yeah, but I can uh, have to fight with them too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, we're gonna. Ha I'm gonna have to leave at 6:30 or. Oh no, early. 5:30. Seven is the train. I'll have to leave at 5:30. And 6:30 we must be there. I have to. Change I'll have to leave at five. Five o'clock in the morning. Anyways, time to get to bed. Jayo. Jayo. think for myself and I don't tell myself that I'm thinking for myself <laughs> so I will do something and inside my brain it will say I'm not gonna tell him about it I'm just going to do it I don't like when I do those kind of things to myself so uh, it is 530 in the morning and uh, I'm going to take a very light load, just enough to tap some bags and show the Canton Fear people 
what I have, just in case I, I need my stuff. I wish I took my trailer, that way I could show them my trailer, but I don't think it's that important. See ya. Ya yo. Ya yo. Ya yo. No, you're not that. He is the only one can say ya yo. Yeah, I know. Bye bye. Bye. It's really nice to ride at night or, or really early in the morning. It's before six o'clock in the morning in Shenzhen. Shenzhen's one of the busiest cities in all of China. Uh, and I'm on the highway. And just a couple of cars around me. My lights are really bright, so no one's bothering me. It's just kind of a relaxed way to go. One thing I find really strange in China, listen to that bike wide by. You hear that? Nobody takes care of their equipment. I mean, when I was in, in America and I was a kid, I had my bike shiny, polished, working fantastic all the time. I was proud of it. Even older people, the same way. But here, they're just, they run them into the ground and then they keep going. Like, I see people riding with flat tires and rusty, really rusty chains. Um, just not in any condition to ride. But the, it's like they don't care. Just, if it, if it gets me from point A to point B, even, even it's harder. Like harder to, if you have a rusty chain and a flat tire, you know how hard it is to move a bike? <laughs> it's a lot harder. Just keep your bike up. So my first path led me to an elevated highway. I didn't realize it. My second alternator route led me to an elevated highway and then my third route led me to a tunnel and I kept it was like an extra five or ten K every time now I'm hitting daylight I didn't necessarily want to see daylight on my first ride in the morning ah whatever I just don't like when uh, when I keep having to push back we had tickets to Guanto those were null and void had to get refunded Annie went ahead to the train station and one of the things uh, is we've never I've never taken the trike on a train before and she just got there sent me a picture that says no bikes allowed I don't know I hope I didn't ride all this way for nothing that would be a pain in the arse. Yeah, I'll find out soon. All right, well, I'm at the train station. We'll see, uh, see what's possible. Should be able to get on a train. I read online last night that, uh, that it, it people get on the uh, trains with with bikes and trikes and maybe it's different in China who knows well Annie talked to the train conductor and the doors to the train are too small for bikes they even have signs for no bikes so now I got to see if I can get it on a bus but I've tried to put this on a bus before and it's not very not very good so we'll see in order to get to the bus station, I had to get down into the underground subway huh? passageways. Descending down flight after flight of stairs, trying to keep my wheels true along the way was a real pain in the ass. Missing the train put a whole new set of transportation obstacles in our way. Our morning was fast disappearing and frustration was running high. Can you help me? Just, just kick the tire straight, you know, so it doesn't turn like this. 
You don't have to do anything. Just kick the. Yeah. Kick it. Kick it. Kick it. Hard. Like turn it. There you go. Then go to the middle. You can't go to the middle. It's always turning the tires. I'm trying, but you're. I, I never try, I'm just thinking. Should I fold it right now? It's too dark. No. Is it better now? With your glasses off? <laughs> so, uh... Anyways, uh, we're on a bus, and we caught the, the early bus, thank God. Because the next one doesn't leave for two hours, and that would just be impossible. And the trike slid right in, like it was a garage. So, next challenge is uh, Canton Fair. We'll see if that works. What are you doing? <laughs> focus. Was I out of focus the whole time? I think you are, but I tried to <laughs> see more. So we have made it to the Canton Fair. I actually took the trike on a subway. It was interesting and it was hectic. So hectic I could not share it with you. Now we're at a different kind of hectic, the Canton Fair. If you've never been here, go to a cattle drive and mix it with a bunch of Chinese factories and maybe uh, you'll come to some conclusion of what it's like here. Busy. Are you having fun? No. No. Regular or crazy? Crazy. Video. <laughs> Audio off? Audio on. So we're finally in the Canton Fair and it's only one o'clock. <laughs> it took all day just to get here. There's not a lot of bicycle area in the whole fair. These, this Canton Fair is huge and each hall is set up with different products and the bicycle products are a very small portion of the whole show. And we're just going to go up and down the aisleways, hopefully find some interested factories and that are making products that maybe appeal to me and then uh, we can talk to them. The cool thing about the Canton Fair is you can kind of lay out new products as you go through. So maybe we can get some custom bags made or something, maybe work something out with one of the factories that might be interested in uh, joining the trip somehow, in some way, so. And today is Beck's birthday. And today is, today is my sister's birthday. She's not gonna see this birthday message for probably a month, but Happy birthday, Becco. We didn't realize it at the time, but the day was going to reveal yet another number of firsts. First time in the subway, first time under a bus, first time up an escalator, and first time to ride through a trade show. We made our way into the cycling area of the fair excited and ready to meet, greet, and innovate. See, this is similar to the, to the bag I saw. Too small. No tribe. No tribe. No try.
<laughs> this might be a very quick day. <laughs> Can we go now? Aisle by aisle, row by row, we started to realize one obvious fact. The show was not turning out to be the trike product gold mine that we had envisioned when we came here. Somebody farted. I can smell it down here. You think maybe the bag stuff is coming the third way? And sports clothes. Did you find anything? I don't know. Uh, not really. <laughs> Let's go. Half a day to get here. to get inside and that's it uh, yeah it's a half of a half of a half of a room one row are you happy with you finding no nothing's cool enough don't hit that car it's worth a million dollars sorry so maybe we should go back to Shenzhen tonight <laughs> If we left right away, we could make it, eh? Disappointed. This story is going to end quick. I've never been to the Canton Fair for bicycles. I think maybe bicycles is not a good place, at the, a good product to look for at the Canton Fair. You're looking for other stuff, maybe. But bicycles, no. It is interesting to ride through the Canton Fair on a bicycle. Look at that trike. I just built onto it. Yeah, we were just talking about that. Like, that must be good for your back. Yeah, take a seat. Right. Take a seat. Oh my God. It's nice. <laughs> Step here first. Okay. <laughs> You gotta say Jayo. 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 <laughs> and uh, where are you from originally? Detroit. Oh, okay. Yeah. So if the whole ride is on the trike, there's no like alternative routes unless unless I'm in a dangerous area and need to be you know on a truck or something. Right. But uh, I'm riding from here into Vietnam and then uh, Laos and then back to Vietnam, Cambodia, Thailand, Myanmar. I'm climbing Mount Everest. Do you have a location in Kathmandu? That I don't have. So I will contact you and maybe Great. we can ex uh, yeah. expand on this a little bit. That sounds like a cool project you'd like to involved in. Okay, thanks, Jane. Great, thanks for meeting you. guys. Nice to meet you. Bye. 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 Thank you, thank you. I've been to the Canton, because I, I have a trading company originally. So normally I come to the Canton Fair and I'm looking for you know, product ideas. And I've never ridden, a, ridden something through the Canton Fair. So this is an extremely comfortable way. I bet. I was uh, just saying, oh, everybody must be so jealous. Yeah, normally I'm so <laughs> tired, but now I'm like just tired. Just sleep. Awesome. <laughs> See you guys. Dio. Dio. <laughs> Tons. You weigh them all? Wow. So what originally started as a journey to the Canton Fair has now become more about the journey itself. Although the Canton Fair yielded little, the journey tested me in alternative forms of transportation with the trike in tow. It gave me insight into how I may have to travel in the future, whether I'm looking to hop on a train, bus, subway, or pilot the trike up and down escalators or through a crowded trade show. 
Uh, so we finished the, the Canton Fair end of things. There wasn't a lot here for bicycles, not as much to warrant actually a trip out here. So uh, me and Annie girl go to a Turkish restaurant, get some food here in Guangzhou, and then head back to Shenzhen, and it's just gonna be a really quick day trip. <laughs> We saw some bags, but mostly it was here for Chinese branded bikes, and I'm not really interested in any Chinese branded bikes. So let's leave the Canton Fair for another time. Let's go. <laughs> Badass.